hi guys welcome back to my channel my name is Midi Nancy if you're new here I'm an international master's student in France and I'm super excited to be making this video today thank you for coming or thank you for stopping by to watch this video in today's video I'm going to be talking about myself a little bit what job I do in France um, and also I'm going to be talking about how easy it is to find jobs in France as an international student to make this video um, come to reality I asked a couple of friends that I know that are studying or living in France uh, what jobs they do and how um, they I just asked them a couple of questions to come about this video so if this sounds like something you're interested in watching please watch this video to the end let's get right into the video So basically, if you are watching this video for the first time, I assume that you might not know me at all. You might just be stumbling on this video like uh, Paraza. Paraza in French means by chance. Um, I moved to France in 2020 and uh, when I came to France, I was I just came to France as um, um, on a program called uh, Assistant de Long. That's like um, teaching assistant program in France. So I was part of like the first Nigerians to come to France as teaching assistant, English language teaching assistant. So that was what brought me to France. If you want to know more about that, you can watch my previous videos. I'm also going to link something up below above so you can check them out so um i went back to my country i came back uh, my contract for, for for the teaching assistant was renewed so i came back in 2021 which was last year and from there i got um chosen or i got um, admitted to for my master's degree so now that i'm in france i'm a master's student first year master's student and i am also working as an English assistant at the same time and I know like many people will be asking how possible how can you uh, work as an English assistant as well as also be a master student in France um, basically I think I'm going to kind of divide this video into three parts or maybe it depends on how long this video is I don't want it to be long at all so please just listen attentively so if you're planning to travel to France or if you have someone that you know that is interested in living or studying in France or working in France you can send this video to them so, so aside from the teaching assistant program which we Nigerians know as assistance de long uh, program um, there is also a way that if you are already in France or if you are going to be in France as a student, you can also ask to be an assistant locally. I know it sounds like work one, <laughs> like what she's saying, but if you okay the teaching assistant program normally would always give you it will always sponsor your visa from your country down to France. But applying to be an assistant, English assistant locally means that you already have an existing visa which is student visa you're already like you're recognized to be a student in france as eh, you're recognized to come to france as a student on a student visa so locally means you're asking from your own region your own academy okay it's this video sounds a bit ambiguous and i i understand okay so basically the teaching assistant program let's imagine that it's the federal government of france that actually recruits us and then the federal government of france actually takes us to different regions so these regions are classified by academy academy okay in nigeria we have states in the united states they have states so in nigeria we have 36 states so imagine the like the federal government of nigeria just recruiting a couple of people and putting them in different states that's how the program program assistance the long works so it's the whole federal france education international which is like the main ministry of education the federal body that like puts us in different regions according to our application or according to need so if they feel they need someone here and they just put you there that's how it works but locally means like locally the, the region where your university is going to be you are now asking them please 
can I be an English or Spanish or French or no, not French Chinese assistant in your region so it's different from the federal Ministry of Funds Education International posting you somewhere directly this one means that you are requesting from your own let's say state your own region if you can be an assistant because you are a student and as a student you have the right to work 20 hours a week in France so the assistance the long program normally you work 12 hours a week compulsorily so so already out of 20 hours you can work 12 hours um, as an English assistant so or even something else I hope that my explanation makes sense because it's going to be unfortunate if it doesn't make sense so basically when I got to know that I was going to be a student and I already I already knew that this local um, request to be an assistant existed I sent a message okay I had two admissions I already made my choice that I'm going to take the admission for University of Lille so I went ahead and sent a message around June July I wanted to read how the messages to you guys but I don't know if I'm still going to do it my laptop is right there so I sent a message to the Academy of Lille so Academy de Lille is like let's say uh, local government of Lille something like that or Lille states <laughs> kind of if that makes sense so I sent the old the education uh, sector of Lille I sent them a mail you know told them about myself what I've been up to and that I have um, been accepted to be <clears throat> I've been accepted for my master's degree at the University of Lille. I told them the program and uh, just because I need to support my education, myself financially, I'd like to request if I could be an assistant, you know, locally recruited by the academy because, you know, I just give them a brief background-ish like that and I attached my admission letter and, um, you know, I awaited their response and they responded after like, a week or two <laughs> and told me oh that they're happy to know that you know have been I was able to secure like an admission into a reputable university and they're they're happy for me basically and that um, I have two options so one option is to either be uh, an um, enseignante contractuelle enseignante contractuelle for those who don't speak french is like um a contract teacher kind of so there's an up um like there's some teachers that go on leave like maybe pregnancy leave you know in france when you're pregnant you can take i think a year or one and a half year to give birth take care of your child and you'll be paid so teachers that go on such leaves the students are unfortunately uh, without they're left without having a teacher so in that situation you can be a remplacement like uh, you replace such teachers so but in that situation um, they mentioned it themselves that in that situation it might not favor my studies because if they need someone in Suzuki school I have to and they need the person for a maximum of one month I have to like look for a way to like merge it with my own studies and go and be there at the same time and priority must be given to the job because I'm teaching in a school and in that situation I'm not just an assistant I'm a teacher so I have to like maybe work hand in hand with the pregnant teacher or sick teacher that's waiting surgery as the case may be to discuss what must be taught like preparing of lesson notes and i would also like mark students i would give them grades and so many things are going to depend on me in that situation but in that situation the salary can also be different like i can get in a month i might get high a lot i might get lots of salary depending on the amount that the person that i'm replacing uh depending on the amount the person is actually supposed to earn and um, in some months i might get less if i actually didn't have anyone to replace you know it's a, just it's just a whole lot of things going on so that was the op first option i was giving and the second option is to ask for is to be an assistant locally like i, re I requested and they told me that for that for that i need to get back to them by october because by october is when they are going to know the like you know they already have assistants that were posted to Académie de Lille from the 
let's say the federal government of france do you understand so they already have the initial assistance that are supposed to resume with them they already have their names and lists and it, there are no open positions but if one of those assistants decide that oh because something came up in my country or something came up or i have to be in another region and drops out of the program then there would be a slot for me so they told me to get back to them if i'm still interested by october for them to be able to know if <clears throat> i would uh they would give me the uh, um, the space of that person or not and also in terms of space it depends because academy de Lille covers a whole lot of like other cities there's some cities in under academy de Lille that are two three hours like train ride so guys there's difference between metro i'm sorry i'm just chipping this in there's difference between metro and train metro is the underground subway that's like the day-to-day -day, like transport service that everyone uses like it's always filled up to the brim and then the train they're like basically for distance like traveling so inside the same academy de lille you can still travel one two three hours even sometimes more to certain places that are under academy de lille so if an assistant is dropping out in a place like that's three hours away from my university they won't give me the position because it doesn't favor me and doesn't favor them because they don't want me to miss my classes and also they don't want me to miss my job i don't know if that makes sense up to this extent i'm definitely going to make this video two videos because i can't talk about jobs and also talk about so let me i'm just going to make this video about me working as an assistant and also running my masters at the same time and how that is possible so that when you get to france or before you come to france you can start making plans towards if you are going to request for um to be uh, a local locally recruited assistant in your region so they gave me these options and told me to get back to them but because my blood was hot <laughs> in um, like if I, I that was like ending of June and in July I already started like job hunting searching for jobs like student jobs I was in Luxembourg actually but I was searching for job like fervently and you know just negative responses back to back back to back and some of the positive responses they were like unfortunately they want someone who is going to be with them for 35 to 40 hours a week they don't have student contracts student contracts is maximum 20 hours a week so basically it's still a no right <laughs> so i got like lots of rejection by august you know they told me to get back to them october by august i sent them a message and i was like oh here i am just to remind you that i'm still interested in being a local assistant in the academy because i need money <laughs> not like that but you know i just reminded them that i still exist just in case i you know they tried to forget me and as i expected i got no response yeah i didn't get any response from them and at that point i felt like mm, so september i already came if you've been watching my videos you know how my old journey was from luxembourg to france and from france back to luxembourg and from luxembourg back to france like it was just a whole lot of messy situation so from september i came to resume my masters because i had to be at the compulsory orientation and everything and as at that time i still didn't have a job and um, the academy still adding uh, replies to me suddenly before the end of september i got a message uh, and they were like okay are you still interested because there might be a spot in one school somewhere they didn't mention the school but there might be a spot in uh i think my eater is very odd just one second i have to reduce the eater Yeah, so where did I stop? I basically needed that, guys. I needed it. I, I mean, I, I know I'm wearing sweats and um, I'm wearing joggers because it was really cold. My ends are still very cold, but my face was just very hot. Like, I'm just feeling hot. 
anyways back to the story so i got the message like are you still interested and i was like oh my god I'm like yes i'm still as at that time i already had another interview for a job that i would have loved and it looks like they were going to choose me actually for that job i'm working with like international students i'll be it was like just gonna be chilled so at that point i was like mm, what's going to happen because combining that job with being an assistant wouldn't be possible because it would be it would surpass 20 hours a week and uh in addition to that i would it would be difficult for me to be a master student and have two huge jobs like that so i was just like okay no i'm just going to reply i replied them i'm available i'm still interested and everything so uh the um academy told me to send my phone number that they can reach me through and um, you know i sent my phone number and i was waiting for ages hoping that they would call me and no one called me for another like one two weeks ish and then in october i got a call that uh you know uh you know we are so 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 and so school and uh we were giving your details your your CV and everything and uh, we would like to ask if you are still interested because you know you've been you should resume to our school as soon as you can I'm like oh my god yes <laughs> so that's how I got my job and that's how my old job hunting um, face just came to an halt i mean it's not the best paying job like oh you get so much money it's not the best paying job it's just but i mean it's good to know that you have something coming in for you every month you can pay your rent you can buy a few things that you need and uh, i mean thanks to the free food distribution and everything i don't need to shop as much for food and for so many things like i would if you don't know what i mean by free food distribution and benefits Maybe you should check out the last few videos because in France, that's how we survive. Anyways, um, because this video is already super long and I didn't intend for it to be this long, I'm just going to talk about, just end this video with explaining how you can go, go about it to you. So you have applied or you're about to apply to study in France. Uh, for your masters and I don't know about um, like a bachelor's degree if you can be an assistant but definitely give it a trial and if it works fine if it doesn't you wait till you get to your master's level so you are coming to France as a master's student so let's say you've been chosen by University of uh, Toulouse so before that time okay by when you send your when you submit your application on campus france of your country by december uh latest by april you should get a you should get responses from these different schools that you applied to so uh if you get responses if you should have chosen the school you want to go with so you accept the applic um the, the admission so when you accept the admission you have the opportunity to download your like pre-admission letter so it's not really the official admission letter just pre-admission letter from campus france so that's the letter you're actually going to use for your visa and everything so that same letter just download it and then that same april or may or at most june send a message a call message to the academy of toulouse so you ask me how do i know how to find them so just type um on google just type uh academy de toulouse assistance de langue locale and i think that's very long but i'm going to try to put it on the screen academy de toulouse assistance de langue or assistance de langue locale or to be just type it in english to be an assist to be a locally recruited english assistant in academy de toulouse contact so just make sure you end your message with contact so that it gives you like mail addresses of who to contact because academy de toulouse an academy is a big body like a really big body you know it's just imagine like ministry of 
education of uh, of Lagos, like in Nigeria. Lagos is is really it's not only the um, like uh, assistants that they would deal with. They deal with like normal teachers. They deal with those that are pregnant. Like they deal with so many kind of teachers and so many things. So those assistants, those in charge of assistants, recruiting assistants, it's just a small body. So you need to include assistants or locally locally recruited assistants in your search. So you find a contact. I would ask my colleagues to send me all the, the, the mail addresses of their academies. So I put them in the description box. But this weekend for me is, is very, very, very stressful because after filming this video, I'm going to edit this video and you're going to watch this video probably tomorrow or today so i feel like i already have a lot going on and sometimes people don't reply and basically if i can i'll try to put it subsequently as i get contact i'll just add it to the description box so try to always check the description box or if you really need it send me a message on instagram at midday nancy and i'll try to get it for you if i can so when you send this cold mail to the assistants of your academy they should get back to you and uh, tell you how to go about it if they can accept you or not you know you attach your cv academic cv attach your your you know so many things but 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 i should let you guys know that it's not 100 percent so if you remember my story my story depended on someone actually dropping out someone around where my university is someone in my old like my i live in lille so, uh, so an assistant an initial assistant that has been chosen for lille it depended on one of them actually dropping out for the pro from the program before i could have been chosen so I have other colleagues in many other regions that were not chosen. Another thing that it depends on is your timetable. So if they feel like your timetable cannot work, they won't get back to you. So luckily for me, my timetable is very flexible. So when I told them my timetable, they were able to like fix classes for me in between. So currently I teach in three primary schools and one college. College is like junior secondary schools, making four so just have just imagine how it would be in your head so four institutions with my masters and every week for mass i'm going to come and talk about masters in france later every week there's like lots of loads of work to do every week you have you don't have breathing space basically it's not a kind of situation where you can feel like oh when the exam time comes i'm going to start studying no it doesn't work that way because every week you have something to submit the next week from different teachers so basically i'm just contented and happy that i found this because i've not been able to even think of searching for another job since that time because i felt like i don't even have that time to do another job so this no matter how little it is i'm just going to keep pushing with it i'm not saying it's 100 percent that oh immediately i get to france i'm asking and i'm getting it it's just an option and i'm also talking about myself i hope this video has been helpful i hope this video was enlightening i hope you learned a thing or two from this video <laughs> if so please share this video you can download these videos give it a big thumbs up give this video a big thumbs up please leave a comment in the comment section down below if you have questions of any sort uh that's going to be the end of this video but that's not the end of the video actually because the real 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 video is in the next video that i'm going to post because i'm going to make another video right now i'm going to talk about how like jobs that international students actually do because my case is i'm going to say two out of hundred not every not every i think some of the things that helps me was the fact that i already I was already an assistant two times. My previous two schools gave positive compliments about me. And uh, I'm also studying something in line with like languages, French, English. So it, it's more like uh, reassuring 
and uh, and grace definitely because no matter how positive the feedback was uh, if there was no space if no one dropped out of the program there's no way I would have gotten a slot so that also played an important role but I'm going to tell you other things like I have a whole bunch of like notes here for you to talk about jobs that international students do how is it is it actually to find jobs and uh so many other juicy good beneficial things if you are willing to uh study in france so i think we should get to that video <laughs> see you next time bye